is Stat Beast? Uh, really quickly, just to get out of the way again, what is StatBeast.com? Uh, well, you know what? Stop looking at porn and go to it. <laughs> and you pretty much get everything you there you need in the form of widget to help you decide uh, how to make your fancy football team. Team comparisons, offense, defense, stuff like that. I could go on, but there's football to talk about. Let's move. Well, it seems that Dean Warmer, I mean Roger Goodell, got his way and has released a new patron code of conduct to the NFL and fans therein. They're on double secret probation. Drunk and disruptive fans can be ejected from the game, stadium, and stripped of their tickets. Uh, verbal abuse, physical harassment of other fans, obscene language or gestures. Uh, interference with the game by throwing objects onto the field. Fans who become drunk or unruly during pregame tailgating will not be allowed in the stadiums. As a Philly fan, I'd like to apologize to all of you. When you set the bar that high, our bad. Alright, the third preseason game is usually the most important because it allows the starters to have the most playing time before easing off in week four. Looking at Minnesota, Tavares Jackson has had a pretty good preseason so far. 15 for 22, 200 yards, two touchdowns. He should be a great starter for Minnesota this year. Gus Verratt's backing him up. So as long as he stays healthy, he should be fine and should be good for you as a low-risk, high-reward number two quarterback in your league. He did fine for it last year. As long as he stays healthy, it should be fine. Now, he did strain his MCO last week, and he has a long list of other injuries. Speaking of grown men with boo-boos, let's see the injury report. I'm looking at Cincinnati and their wide receivers. They are banged up. Chad Johnson, shoulder spring. TJ Hushmazeda, hamstring. Both are limited to practice until the regular season opener. Rookie receiver Andre Caldwell hurt one of his little piggies last week. It's not looking good. So the Bengals went out and did something you wouldn't dream they did. They brought... Wait a minute. Hold that thought. This stat beast criminal slash injury report welcomes back former Bengal and five-time arrestee Chris Henry. Good to see you, pal. Now, when this guy wasn't assaulting people or getting busted for drugs, he did play some football. Now, they do need him in this position, and he could possibly help at the wide receiver position. But he brings with him a lot of baggage, like he's a troublemaker, he complains a lot, and you don't know when he's going to get arrested again. Essentially, that's like taking a sure thing to the prom. You know they put out, but they probably have herpes. And now, someone to watch for. I don't think there's been a bigger rookie impact this preseason after two games than Tennessee running back Chris Johnson. Johnson racked up almost 7,000 all-purpose yards when he was at East Carolina, and he's expected to share time with Lendell White. But they're already talking about him becoming a starter halfway through the season. Now, there's no reason he can't be your number three running back, Ben. Okay, I've been holding this one for a while. I gotta go. Don't forget, preseason week three, kind of important games. Watch them. Drafts are coming up for almost everybody. Go to StatBeast.com. Check it out. Maybe it helps. Have fun, fanless. Have a great week. I gotta go to the bathroom.